Did you guys know that you sleep for almost a third of your life? That is a lot of time. So finding the right mattress is so important. But how can you tell you need a new mattress? What are the clear signs? Now, I just want to say that Casper Financial supported this video. They sent me this mattress and these sheets to try out. If you do need a new mattress, definitely check them out. But now, let's talk about the clear signs. Okay, pesky facts out of the way. How long should a mattress last? Well, on average, a mattress is supposed to last between seven and 10 years. So if you've had that mattress for that long, it's probably time to start looking for a new one or just to upgrade. But if you're sleeping on your mattress, it might be under seven years, maybe it's like in that seven to 10 year range, how do you know it's time to replace your mattress? Well, first, sagging. Now, this can happen with inner spring mattresses, memory foam mattresses, hybrid mattresses. So the coils on inner spring or a hybrid mattress can start to weaken. They're not gonna be quite as supportive. Also, if it's with foam, that can start to sag over time, so you're not getting quite the support and comfort you need because of the memory foam. You can also see on your bed, is there an indentation? So I'm a big guy, I'll admit it, and I've had cheaper memory foam mattresses before. I pressed in, after a couple years, a big indentation. So if you're rolling into that same spot every night, it's probably time for a new mattress. Also, noise. Now, this mostly applies to inner spring mattresses and hybrid mattresses with coils. So, when your coils start to squeak in a very loud way, they're kind of getting rusty, they're also getting, just kind of like losing their strength, you probably know it's time for a new mattress. Off that as well, if you're not using your ears, use your nose. If it's starting to smell, I know it's a little bit gross, it's probably time for a new mattress as well. So mattresses of all kinds can trap mildew, they can trap mold, other allergens as well. So over time, they can catch that scent. So if your mattress just stinks, get a new one. Another point is allergies. So if you wake up every morning and you're stuffed up, your eyes are watery, it might be your mattress. A mattress can actually trap allergens like pollen and dust mites and exacerbate your allergies. So if you feel okay the rest of the day but wake up every morning feeling kind of stuffed up, it might be your mattress. Another sign is pain. You wake up with pain on your lower back. You feel pain on your shoulders, on your hips, on your uh, elbows and your knees, on your pressure points. So you're not getting enough support, you're not getting enough comfort from this mattress, so it might be time for a new one. Also, if you can't sleep, it might be your mattress. You're tossing and turning all night. You just can't get comfortable. It might be your mattress not giving you the comfort and support you need as well. And the best test of this is you sleep somewhere else and you sleep better. Let's say you go to a hotel or a friend's house and you wake up feeling great. No pain, no allergies, you slept well all night. It's probably your home mattress that's the problem. And then finally, change of situation. Let's say you get pregnant, you're gaining or losing weight, you have a new bed partner, or you have new health issues like arthritis. It might be time for a new mattress to meet those needs. So those are the clear signs it's too late for your mattress and you have to get a new one. But how can you prolong the life of your mattress? Make sure it lasts as long as possible. Well, first, use a mattress protector. Did you know a lot of companies actually void your warranty if you don't use a mattress protector? So it's smart either way. It also protects from dust, from allergens, from dirt. It can definitely make your mattress last longer. Also, make sure you have the right amount of foundation. So if you have a heavier mattress, make sure your foundation can support that amount of weight. If you have a mattress that requires an, a box spring, definitely get that too. If you don't get enough support for the mattress, it can sag pretty quickly. All right, I don't want to be the fun police or anything, but there are some things that are fun to do on your mattress that are bad for your mattress. First, you can't jump on the bed. If you have kids, it's a lot of fun to have them jump on the bed. I don't have any kids. I like jumping on the bed, but it's bad for the mattress. It can damage your mattress over time, cut into the life of the mattress too. So no jumping on the bed. Also, it's a lot of fun to have the dog go in bed, have the puppers come in. You can't do it. That also can be bad for your mattress. They bring dirt, they bring allergens, they bring other critters. Not a good idea. Finally, you can't eat in bed. I personally love eating a plate of chicken wings Saturday afternoon. That is my idea of a good time. When I learned it was bad for my mattress, I had to stop doing it. Again, that's gonna lead to have some critters move into your mattress, bed bugs. And off that too, those are your worst enemy. And you wanna avoid bed bugs at all costs. So with having the dog in bed, with also eating in bed, that can lead for critters to move into your mattress. And when that happens, the mattress is done. Your living situation might be ruined as well. So avoid bed bugs at all costs. Because of that, if you do make a mess on your mattress, spot clean it immediately with the proper cleaners. Also, vacuum it twice a year, keep it clean over time. 
and rotate or flip your mattress. Now, some newer designed mattresses, you can't rotate or flip, but more traditional, like interspring mattresses, you can definitely do that. So when you rotate it, it's gonna be 180 degrees. It's gonna fight divots and indentations. When you flip it, same thing. You're gonna add some life to your mattress. Finally, if you have to move your mattress across town, across the country between apartments, definitely wrap it in plastic because you want to make sure that allergens don't get in, dirt doesn't get in, bed bugs don't get in. So those are the main ways to prolong the life of your mattress. So let's say all the signs are there. It's time for a new mattress. What should you be looking for in a new mattress? Well, I definitely recommend checking out mattressclarity.com, Google Mattress Clarity Mattress Reviews. We have a lot of great resources to help you out finding a new mattress. But what should you be looking for? Well, first, if your mattress has foam in it, definitely look for something with a higher density. Lower density, like three pound or 3.5 pounds, it's definitely not enough. It might sag more quickly. Look for something in a four to five pound range. Also consider something with coils in it. It's gonna help add some life to your mattress too, give you some extra support as well. Then just think about your sleeping preferences. So first, sleeping position. If you're sleeping on your back, you wanna make sure you have a balance of comfort and support. So your hips sink in enough, not too far, but you also feel the support underneath that as well. Moving to your side, you want more of some softness there on your shoulders and your hips. So usually a softer mattress is a good choice. Moving to your stomach finally, you want more of a firmer mattress, a more supportive mattress to make sure your hips don't sink in quite too far. Now think about your sleeping temperature. Do you sleep hot? Do you sleep cool? Me personally, I'm a hot sleeper, so I need a cooler sleeping mattress. If you want a cooler sleeping mattress, definitely think about something with some coils in it for airflow. However, if you want a foam mattress, there are some with elements that are very good for cooling too. Finally, think about your size. I'm a larger person, so I need more support when I'm on my back and on my stomach. When I'm on my side, I definitely need a bigger comfort layer. So if you're a smaller person than me, it might be different for you, but definitely consider your size. By now, you should know if you need a new mattress or not. You know what to look for. You know how to make your mattress last as long as possible. And if you need a new mattress, you know what to look for. If you are looking for a new mattress, again, check out mattressclarity.com. If you have any specific questions, just leave a comment below.